Hi, I'm Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas. From the day I opened the first Wendy's, my goal has been to serve the best hamburger in the business, a Wendy's old-fashioned hamburger. So I started with the freshest beef I could find, 100% pure beef, never frozen. And we patted it in squares so the hamburger hangs over the side of the bun. Then we cooked the patty slowly to seal in its natural juices and served it hot off the grill with a customer's choice of toppings. No other hamburger chain can make those claims. That's what sets us apart from our competition, and that's why our customers come to Wendy's. I believe the only way to make a Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburger is to press the meat patty. Pressing the meat patty is really important, and here's why. The patty tastes better because the salt is pressed into the meat and makes the meat more tender. It also makes the patty larger, so they'll hang over the edge of the bun, and people will like that. Pressing the hamburger patty requires skill and dedication. You have to watch over the patties constantly as they cook. You should always serve a perfect Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburger, the one that you would serve to your best friend. You have one of the most important jobs at Wendy's. Right now, I want you to devote your full attention to learning the new four-corner press procedures for cooking Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. And while you're doing that, I am going to have a hot and juicy hamburger with mustard, pickle, and onion. Hey, Greg, what's up? Not much. Mary's up front. She wants to see you. Right. Hi, Bill. Hey. Make sure you start in 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, Mary, what's up? I'm going to pull you off fries today because I want you to learn grill. Have you clocked in? Yeah. Let's get started. familiar with the grill, but let me show you a few things you might not already know. The meat is here in the cold well, and the cheese is over here. Bun warmer up above keeps the buns warm and fresh. Remember, we serve 100% pure ground beef. It's patted into squares so that the meat hangs over the bun. Now the tape I'm going to show you, here's a crew guide and the grill training tape. Why don't you have a look at the tape first, and I'll check back with you in a few minutes. All right. Now working the grill, Bill, it ain't so tough. But first of all, you got to check your stuff. Like a grill that's set at 250 with the meat and cheese that's ready to go. A towel to keep your station looking cool. But most of all, you got to have your tool. Are you with me now? Get ready. We're gonna lay them down. Now beats got grain to it just like wood. You got to follow the arrow to lay it down like you should. From the front to the back, you got to lay it down. Face it evenly, not scattered around. Next, you got to salt the meat from the back to the front to make the taste complete. Not too little, not too much. With a little finesse, you'll get the touch. What's coming up next is our key to success. We'll turn the meat and do a four corner press. Don't wait too long, I emphasize, or the meat won't reach the proper size. When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently turn the meat, but don't be slow. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken penny, that's a guarantee. Press out the corners, one, two, three, four. Rock it a bit, are right, you keeping score? Top and bottom, left and right, and you'll get a patty that's out of sight. Press out the corners, nice and wide, at least half an inch on both sides. 
The reason you press, you gotta think When the meat hits the grill, it starts to shrink We start shrinking When we hit that grill, you know it will We start shrinking When we hit that grill, you know it will When you see red juices on the top of the meat It's time to give the turn and press a repeat Do it again just like you did before Do the four corner press just one time more Now once you press this the second time Don't press them again because the meat's just fine But when you see red juices rise Turn the patty over to the other side Don't scrape the grill, we want it wet, you see And keep the meat moist so it's hot and juicy When the meat's red juices no longer rise You can serve that patty, it'll win a prize It takes about four minutes to cook But just to make sure you can have a look Use your tool and double check It should be gray and moist to be correct And order this place, you're ready to go Drain the meat, just like so Once the draining is totally done Place the patty squarely on the hill of that bun Now there you go, Billy, you give it a shot Don't be afraid, I think you're gonna be hot